Hey everyone, so actually I might be able to keep this one down to the two minute. So what we're focusing on here, so in the last video, we focused on a two minute demo of recovering workloads to and from Nutanix HV. And this time we're gonna show you that, that Linux file level recovery and how we've introduced the FLR appliance inside of the AHV cluster, rather than having to have the FLR cluster on another virtualization platform. So simple enough, we run through this guest file restore wizard. I mean, that option's still very much there if you want to use the FLR wizard within vSphere or Hyper-V. We're gonna choose that FLR appliance configuration that we chose when we first deployed. If you can think back to all of those videos and then demos before. And what's that gonna do is go, into, go down to the the HV cluster is going to provision that. And this is just me showing the ability to actually choose. So the one that the, we ran the FLR from a snapshot, obviously at that point you have to use the FLR appliance within Nutanix HV. If you're using a backup though, then we can choose whether it's VMware or Hyper-V or, or Nutanix HV as well. But for speed, I wanted to use the uh, FLR within uh, Nutanix HV. So as you can see here, that's now booting up, that's coming up, and you'll see our Veeam Explorer come, which allows us to then start navigating through that Linux file system, pulling that data out, allowing us to go and restore individual files or also folders back to the original location or keep the existing, or even copy that locally onto, a, onto your backup or onto your local sites so that you can deal with that. And with 10 seconds spare, I've managed to actually keep a demo inside that uh, inside that two-minute window. With that, thank you very much.